All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we start today's vlog, I want to say you guys were so close to 15,000 subscribers. That's a huge milestone, 15,000. It's been a long journey. Thank you to everybody that has been uh, supporting me and watching the channel for all these years. It's been quite a long time and I didn't think I'd ever make it this far. There's a few times I almost threw in the towel, but I kept at it. And again, you guys, thank you for everybody that supported the channel from day one. There's gonna be so many more things happening and I'm just so excited to share with you guys this uh, journey that I have in my life. So thank you again for supporting you guys. 15,000. Let's get right into today's vlog. I've done a review on them before. Acuity Instruments, reverse flow, silicone radiator hoses. These are absolutely amazing. If you want to know more about them and what they do, hit the card up, up top in the corner here. And uh, yeah, just you guys got to get this for the FL5 or the uh, Integra Type S. D D5? Yeah, D, D E5, I think, I think. Let's get right into it. Let's install these today, you guys. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove the under tray so we can get access to the drain hole and we're gonna drain out all the fluids. So here's the plan. So this is the, the drain hole or drain plug. The uh, pet cock or whatever this thing is called. So what I did, I attached the rubber hose to it where the drain hole comes out. Instead of let's letting the coolant fly everywhere. Hopefully it works, let's see. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and drain this out. Okay, wish me luck. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'm gonna take an empty water bucket. See if I can save it. Comes right out. So the mistake I did was I took out the uh, drain plug all the way. And then it went up top and I was like, oh man, it's not coming out anywhere. So I went up top and I, I, did, I took the radiator cap off the uh, coolant reservoir. And I'm like, holy shit, I can hear the water just, just coming out everywhere. And it's, it's all over the floor, you guys. So just keep that in mind when you guys do this. Uh, put the drain plug in, loosen it just a little bit, and then undo the, radiator, uh, the overflow uh, radiator cap because it'll it'll just come spewing out of there like i don't know it's dumb dumb of me but yeah because at first i'm like how come it's not coming out it's just slowly slowly draining out and uh yeah that's what happened so don't make the same mistake as i did all right guys so the next step i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and unplug the temp sensor and then take the actual sensor out itself and then we're going to go ahead and replace it with a qd plug that they uh, supplied us here and this is uh 17 mil. It's kind of nice that they even tell you it's a 17 mil rate on it. So go, let's go ahead and do that right now. Like that. Pretty simple. Put that aside. And then you're going to go ahead my 17 mil. It was very tight. The Acuity instruments, they supply us with the O-ring here. So make sure that when we unplug that or take that out, the sensor out, the O-ring from the OEM comes with it, so it's not double double O-ringing in there. So that'll be a problem. Put a rag there, just in case. Hopefully you guys can see. Probably water's gonna come flying out of here. There we go. And the O-ring is right there. Yeah, make sure. Acuities are awesome, they're awesome, you guys. They put the torque specs and everything on there and the size of the nut or the bolt. You know how they'd be scrambling around looking for torque specs and stuff. That's just, I think everybody should be doing that. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque this down. According to Acuity, nine foot pounds. That's not a whole lot. That's it. Okay, so this next step is uh, only applies to uh, the FL5 and the Integra Type S. Uh, it's the temp sensor relocation bong that will go into the, uh, the tube here. So this trick I learned from the boys over at uh, AHC, the YouTube channel. They work on a lot of Hondas and Acuras, but uh, I would have just put it in there and trying to tighten it up and it would have moved everywhere. So thank you to those guys for showing us this trick here. So what we're gonna do, put in the vice grip, and tighten it down so it doesn't move. You're gonna put your temp sensor down here. And again, this is a 17 mil, this is a, no, this is a 24 mil, this is a 17 mil. And put it in, make sure the O-ring's there. And then you 
gonna take your torque wrench and again, nine foot pounds. Not a whole lot. Okay, I took the rubber off. No one likes rubbers anyways, you guys. We're all dogging it right now. Use condoms, you guys. Oh man, now this thing moves. Seriously? Okay. Hooray, done. That's it. Thank you to those guys over at AHC. Got a little bit of marring here, but there we go. It works. Okay, now let's go put it on the tube. Okay, so next we're going to basically move this onto this hose here. You're going to get the supplied worm clamp or whatever these things are called. You're going to put it on, but Keep in mind that uh, you need access to this if you ever need to like uh, move that sensor around. Put it to where you can actually access it in the future. So I, what I did was I put a little bit of lube on it just so that it goes in a little easier. Lube is always good. And because uh, it should be tight. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna get our seven mil. And you're going to tighten this down. Again, keep in mind the orientation of where it's going to be. So this is going to be the top, according to the QD. So I'm going to let me just put it facing up like this for now. And then go ahead and tighten it down. All right, so now that it's finished draining, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten the drain plug back up. Nice and snug. I'm going to go ahead and remove everything else. So here's the game plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do everything up top here. I'm going to take out all the clips or the hose clamps from up top. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and change out the thermostat to a spoon thermostat. It should lower the, or it should open 10 degrees uh, lower. So you should keep the engine a little cooler. So that should help again at spirited driving. So yeah, that's the game plan to have less big of a mess. I'm gonna do everything on the top first because all the coolant should have been on the bottom of the radiator. So that should eliminate a lot of the uh, big mess. So this is the top one first. According to Acuity's instruments instructions, you're supposed to take off this pipe here just so that you can have access to the uh, clip on the top here. But I can see that I can get access to it pretty, pretty easy. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna skip that stage there. So let's, let's start with this one first. There we go. That's off. Let's see if I can reach in here. I think you can get them off of Amazon. These hose clamps at the, for tight spaces and they have this, like an adapter that goes in there and clamps onto it and locks in. So you don't have to worry about these ones, but there we go. We got it off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, hose off here. Hopefully there's no coolant everywhere. Let's break this loose. So sometimes these are stuck on there pretty good. So just instead of using a set of uh, flathead and just damaging everything, let's see, break that loose. She's on there pretty good. I'm gonna lubricate when you need it, eh? Ah, there you go. A little bit. There you go. Give it a twisting motion. Oh man, the struggle, eh? Woo! Who said? Ah, nothing comes easy in life. Oh, one second, guys. There we go. Okay. Okay, so up next, we're gonna go ahead and take off the thermostat, which is a uh, 310 mils. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead lift up the car and then remove the hose from the bottom and it should just come right out. I'm going to go ahead and remove the clamp here and hopefully it comes off pretty easy. There we go. Okay, that's the easy part. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this off right back guys. All right, no shit of a lie you guys, that was quite a struggle. Bleeding hands, got it out. It's When it's sealed up, it's sealed up really good man. The struggle is real guys. So yeah, 
So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on. We're going to put the thermostat in. And this is the factory OEM one. Looks identical to the spoon or spoon looks identical to the OEM, but that's pretty much what it is. So let's go ahead and put that in and uh, put the 10 mils back in and then finish up with the install. So I'm thinking the bottom one's going to be the hardest one. I'm going to put the top one in first just so that it doesn't move around on me. All right, so then you're going to torque these down to 18 foot pounds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install this one first. Uh, I believe it goes like this. I opted to use the factory clamps instead of the supplied by Acuity. Okay, that should be it. I'm going to go ahead and opt on uh, moving this one back first so that it's out of the way. And of course, no good. Well, at least now we know, can't do it. You have to use the Acuity ones that they supplied. Okay, so next we're gonna put the, uh, the longer holes in here. We're just gonna snake it all the way down. And the orientation that Acuity says is labels are facing up. Okay, there you go. Just gonna leave it a little loose right now. And then we're gonna go and connect the bottom. All right, so we're almost done. For the clamp, I'm gonna have the clamp facing out this way. That way you can just have access to it. And then I'm gonna push it in here. So last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and uh, un, well, when we unplug the sensor here, we just gotta unclip it from the, uh, the fan shroud and make sure we plug it into the relocation kit. Right up top, right there. All right guys, so I'm pretty much almost all done. I just gotta put the coolant back in. Uh, so you, some of you guys are probably wondering why I switched out the factory thermostat with the spoon one. So the spoon one opens up at 68 and all the way fully open at 71. And then compared to the factory one, it starts to open up at 78 and fully open at 90. So there's a big difference, almost like a 10 degree difference. Uh, so this should uh, alleviate any of the uh, overheating or keep the engine cooler quicker and uh, to pair it up with the Acuity Instruments silicone hoses should keep the FL5 a lot cooler, quicker. All right, so we're pretty much almost done the install. All the coolant's back in, air's all purged out of the system. But uh, there's one more thing I wanna do under the engine bay once while we're here. It's uh, the motor mount bolts. I got some beautiful ones from Chasing J's. All right, so the motor mount kit from Chasing J's only comes with these two bolts and this nut here. It doesn't include the battery or these two bolts for the, uh, the other side of the bracket. So I asked them to include these two and send me one of those nuts too, or those screw. So it'll be all complete. So here's the plan because it's the motor mount. I don't want anything just to go out of alignment or whatever. I'm going to do one bolt at a time. So I'm going to start with this one, which is a 19 or yeah, 19. So I don't know if I can get to this one. Okay. We have a problem. The deep socket is actually not deep enough. Good thing I checked. So we might have to borrow one from Honda from our, one of our Honda friends. Uh, no good. So I didn't have the right Allen key or Allen socket. So the biggest uh, Allen socket that I had was a number 10. And what we need was a number 12. So keep that in mind. A lot of us don't have this size. So I had the bore from uh, my good buddy there. Thank you, Jay, for always coming through. So the torque for this one is uh, 74 foot pounds. Okay, we're gonna repeat that for the next one. All right, thank you, Jay, for uh, coming through again. This is the uh, socket that I needed. It's a uh, number 19. It's pretty deep. Or it's like a charm. Okay, so they supply us with the titanium washer and of course the nut for this one. And again, this one is uh, 74 foot pounds. So Chasing Jay's nut is a 21, factory is 19. So I got lucky uh, this one actually fits. Uh, the two bracket bolts here are a 14. 41 foot pounds. And last but not least, the ground nut or bolt here. And this is a number five Allen. That's it, he's all done. Looks absolutely amazing. Chasing Jays, can't say enough. 
So again, this comes with the kit. And then I had to order that one separately by itself or add it to the order and these two. So just message them and then uh, they'll send you the right kit. Because if you just order it, it'll just come with these two bolts and that one nut. Nice. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's vlog. I uh, just want to say a big thanks to Acuity Instruments for uh, sending us all the parts, uh, well, all the hoses for the uh, radiator. Fantastic fitment, you guys. That's one thing that I always rave about is the fitment is always spot on and it makes the job so much easier. So the only thing, the only hiccup that we had for the uh, coolant was when we refilled it, it had a big airlock in it and for some reason the Temperatures wasn't coming down, so I didn't capture it on camera. After turning on the fans and letting it uh, circulate, we got the airlock out of there. Just by giving it a few revs, even though a lot of people say online, don't turn the fans on, but this time we turned it on. Called, called a friend, said turn it on, let it cycle. And then yeah, because when we turned on the fan, it just did not blow any warm or hot air. I knew it's already, the engine's already up to temp. There's no hot air. I knew something was wrong. So gave him a call, he said, you know, just turn on all your fans let it cycle, and then, yeah, worked like a charm. Airlock was out of there, cooling was all good now. So car is fine, and I think that's pretty much it. Chasing Jays is making the interior, or the engine bay look even nicer. And uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a driving vlog for the uh, tune that I have that uh, we installed. So that will be coming up next. Um, Hopefully we can get it on the dyno too to see what the off the shelf map tune actually produces. So look forward to that vlog. Uh, don't forget to smash the subscribe button you guys and turn on the notifications so you guys don't miss anything. And that's it for me today. See you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.